Dad. <laughs> How do you keep on getting these cars? I just uh, shoot them. Look at those teeth. Woo! Well, that's no southern fried garball. That is no southern fried garball. All right, Houston. I expect you to shoot some fish. We're gonna keep you honest because Ellie's got a bow in her hand too. I'm not saying she's an expert, but her dad is. Be sure I'm quiet again. Oh, Ellie said start the competition. Ted Outdoors versus Arms Family Homestead. Yeah, me and you against her, Houston. <laughs> she did kill one fish on her last outing. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. One. First shot, first fish, Houston. Let's go, Dad. Look at that. Look at that one. One shot, one kill. Man, that's better than me. That was luck right there, buddy. <laughs> I'll take it. See, Houston, there's your first lesson right there. You just. Shoot the fish, okay? Thank you. That's a good shot. Appreciate man. that. I was like, the fish didn't move. He must be in the <laughs> He didn't move a bit. Just barely miss. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Did either one of you hit? Oh, Two misses. Right there, right there, Houston. Nope, 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 nope. I think it's a peacock bass. Right there. Right there, right there, Houston. Lower, lower, aim lower, shoot. Oh. Oh, you shot under him. Right there. You want, well, there's a gar right here. Or you want the big tilapia? Yeah. The gar's still there. Fish, tilapia number two. Second fish you shot and it didn't even move. Didn't move. Not even a, I mean, Domed both of them right in the head. Did he well, I know we picked teams and we're not keeping score and all that, but if we were keeping score, Ellie, hey, what? it would be two to nothing right now if we were keeping score. Oh, we're keeping score. <laughs> I'll forget counting later. I'll forget how to count when we'll start losing, Houston. Don't worry about it. That was really close, dude. You like, you let you shot right in front of his nose that time. Look at there! I got mine. Woo! That's my first one. Yeah. What was it? Tilapia? No. Oh, I thought that was a fish too, Houston. Got him, you? Oh. Nope. I got him. Yeah, let's go, Dad. I got him for you, Houston. Oh. Little gar shot him right in the chin. Now it's five on three. <laughs> How do you shoot under a fish? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. Shoot it, Houston. Shoot it. Shoot that gar. Oh, you shot a foot over him, dude. Man, how'd you underneath his chin? No how clue. Does, how does that even happen? It doesn't matter. 
You went under he's, the fish. He, hey, he tried to dodge it. You know, he. I shot, he tried to dodge. He must have been, not been able to dodge a wrench. <laughs> sure could dodge an arrow. <laughs> it was a heat seeking arrow. Aim lower. Right there, shoot. Shoot, Houston. Shoot. We all three missed him. Look, here he comes. Here he comes. He just went under the boat. Shoot. Fish. Armored catfish. A Blanco. Good job, buddy. Finally, I got one. You got Hold him up where we can see him. Hold him out they here. They have four eyes. Here's yeah, let's your go. first fish with a bow. It's one of my dream fish. One of your dream fish? Sort of. A Blanco? A Blanco your dream fish, huh? One of them. One Top of your seven. dream fish. Top seven. Well, huh? You got him. Yeah. Aim real low, Ellie. Go, oh, Houston. Got him. Got him. Yep. Woo! <laughs> Big mama. A big old gore. Get him? That sounded good. You got him, don't you? I got, got him. him. I got him. Your second oh. fish. I haven't even oh. shot my second fish. Lift. Lift. Come on, get him in the boat, son. Yeah. 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 Woo, good job. Second one. Look at him. Did you get the shot? Oh, awesome. Man, that's awesome. That's a cool fish. Yeah, baby. All right, there it is, Ellie. Go over there and shoot it. Oh, he swam right as you Ow. needed him. Where? Out. Where are you seeing anymore? Huh? Down, Ellie Gar. Oh, I hit him. Oh, just over top of him. Shoot. Shoot it, Houston. Oh, man. You shoot it up. Oh, just over in front of his face. Now I'm to tell you Straight under the boat. Look, look down. Oh, shot over top of him. Aim low, Ellie. Shoot. Oh, so close. She shot him, scared him up. We only got one bad Oh, oh just never mind. behind him. Come forward. Out. Shoot it, Ellie. Oh. Aim low. Lower. Shoot. Oh, he's so close. Dad. Dad. How? <laughs> How do you keep on getting these bars? I just uh shoot them. Look at those teeth. Woo! There's a guard out there. Then you see it? Yeah. Got it. You're getting good at the guard. What'd you get, Daniel? A guard and a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Out there. Oh. Oh man, he moved his tail. Yeah, he's in the weeds. Oh, too low. Ellie, shoot it. You got it. Oh, Ellie, you touched it. Oh. In, the, in the grass. Out, look out. Oh, just over top of him, Houston. Let go down. Oh, just over top. Ellie, lower, shoot. Oh, so close, honey. Nailed it. Oh, he's upside down. There you go. The armored catfish, huh? Invasive species, though, too, right? Yup. Ellie. Ellie, you having fun? Yeah. What do you think? 
Hey, you having a good time? Yeah. Who's going to win tonight? That sounded good. It was. Dad, it was great. Man, what's that? Three or four tilapia? That's uh, number three, I think. Hmm. We had some tilapia this size in our pond last year. But, uh, you know, they all die off in the wintertime on, on us. But, oh well. Let's go put them in a the box. Oh, shot over you. Oh, drug it. Out of the water. You, what happened? Well, you know, it's the big fish that are hard to hit. I, I can get the little ones. Anybody can shoot the big fish, right? That's right. Smoke. Got him in the face. Dad, another point for us. Huh. No. I can't get him. Why didn't you shoot at him, buddy? You said, oh, he's buried in the sand. He's buried in the, in the grass. Got him. Right in the head too, man. Mm. Hey, they done got us. They done got a double. Let's get a picture of a double, Houston. Look at that. Got a double. Yeah, Mine's a buddy. little bit bigger than yours, bud. Yeah. He has a lot more teeth than yours. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna let you shoot. Okay. But if you miss, I'll shoot. Right here, Elliot. You're in front. Slower. Shoot. Oh. Oh, where'd he go? I didn't know if that was a fish. Daddy, you shot No, that's tilapia. That was like a big oversized bluegill. Good job, Daddy. Good job, Daniel. Teamwork. You spotted him. Why didn't you shoot him? Because I, for some reason, I couldn't pull back. It was like hard. Oh. 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 Down. Gar. Ain't that a gar? That's a gar, ain't it? Or is it a stick? That's a stick. Good shot, Houston. Oh, oh big block. He got off. Oh. Well. Did you lock him? Got a box full of fish. I think we're gonna do a gar catch, clean, and cook video, Houston. What? We're gonna go home and cook some gar. Yeah. I think we're gonna call it a night here and uh, head out. We got about a what? A five mile boat ride out of here, something like that. Yep. And uh, we actually saw a big gator, or Donovan saw a big gator. I didn't get to see the alligator. Saw his uh, his mud stream in the water but shot a lot of fish shot a lot of invasive species got some tilapia and uh the placo catfish the armored catfish so team tate outdoors hooked us up put us on a gar hole tonight we got a lot of gar in the box so most people complain if their buddy took them to a gar hole we we had fun so we're gonna head out of here and go to the house and clean some fish <laughs>
it is not the easiest fish to clean. And their skin is basically armor. It's armor. It's like armored plate. So we're going to cut all the way down this and I'll show you what we're going to do after we get all the way through that. All right, guys, we're all the way through it. Looks like that. Next, you're going to take your flay knife. You're going to hold it open on one side. And you're just going to run the knife right down the side. Just like that. And it's going to peel it out, peel it open. Do not cut into their guts because you do not want to hit their eggs. Their eggs are toxic. So you want to be careful. Next, we're going to clean the other side in a minute, but I'm just going to show you this and then we're going to be in the kitchen. Now we're going to go down the spine. We're going to cut through this just like a back strap on a deer. We're going to cut down to the rib cage, then over the rib cage. And that, that right there is a piece of gar meat. And let's get in the kitchen. We're going to show you how to make gar balls. Dang it. All right, guys, now that we got our gar cleaned up, We've got some other ingredients here. We've got cilantro, green onions, garlic, squeezed ginger. It's the cheapest and easiest way. We got oyster sauce, salt, and pepper. We're gonna put an egg and also some flour. Let's get started. We're gonna take the fish, cut it in small pieces. We're gonna put it in a blender. Everybody in Oklahoma just fell out. I'm not crazy, guys. I'm not crazy. Okay. Next, we'll put a lid on that. We're gonna we're gonna beat this fish up. that we're going to add our garlic to keep the vampire from eating it that looks like enough we're going to add an egg we're going to add some oyster sauce if you don't know where this is found just go in the oriental section or to a uh, oriental food market we're going to add a little bit of that there we go I don't want to be too much of this. A little bit of salt. Squeezable ginger that's not even been opened yet. Put a little of that in there. I really like squeezable ginger. Next, one of the most secret ingredients. You guys know what that is. That's shrimp flavored ramen noodles. Super simple. No need to uh, make your own shrimp stock. Just like we're making ramen noodles. We're gonna turn her down and we're gonna have it all over the stove, huh? That's right. We're gonna make that nice and tasty. There we go. Got that soup stock there. So Donovan looks pretty comfortable in the kitchen. Have you ever cooked for anybody important or anything? Not really. Sec def, general officers in the army. There we go. So I told everybody you were a retired army vet. What you so you just like peel potatoes and stuff or no. what'd you do in the army? Uh, well, I was an advanced culinary instructor. I was the uh, an enlisted aide, which means like a household manager, private chef for general officers. I worked on the mess for the Secretary of Defense, uh, Robert Gates, and I cooked for 20 years in the Army, so I had a great time doing it. Ready? Hey there. Yeah. Hey there. It's looking good. I 
Houston, you ever ate a gar before? I don't know. Well, give it about 15 minutes. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do what's called a quenelle, which is actually you take two spoons, okay, and then you put them just like this. And we're gonna dollop, the, drop those into that water. We're making basically fish, boiled fish balls, but we're boiling them in that shrimp stock. And the way that we like to eat these after we make them is we like to actually eat them in ramen noodles. They are So amazing. why do you go around and around with a spoon just to get it an even size? Yeah, just, just to get it, yep, exactly. It's a culinary thing. I'm not using my hands. You know? Mm-hmm. We like to eat them with ramen noodles. Here's some little Asian noodles we have. And uh, these these ones are almost done. They're about done. I'm going to dip them off. We're going to cook these noodles and we're going to finish this dish off. that light soft tender don't those look yummy mm -hmm. are you an emerald ramen noodles girl or what because she likes her soupy Well, that's no southern fried garball. That is no southern fried garball. There you guys go. Garballs ramen noodle. Time to eat them. Where's my spoon? We're gonna let uh, Houston and uh, Daniel try them. <laughs> Daniel shot it. Houston, you sure don't look excited. You look like you shot it, so. Can I get just a little ramen? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, that's what I mean. Can I actually just get just a little bit of ramen here? Let's just try the, the gar ball first. Might be hot. Hmm. That's good. I don't even know if I'm gonna survive. Just sitting here. Hot stuff is good. You tired? Survive. We put a few miles on the kids today. I think Ellie's held up way better than Houston. She's uh. <laughs> well, she took like a 12-hour nap altogether today. <laughs> she was sleeping every part that we were driving. Here, try this. Just because it's got green in it doesn't mean it's all vegetables. Give it a try. Try it. Nothing. <laughs> not into the Asian food, I don't think. No. Let's try it with some ramen noodles here if I can actually. Get the ramen noodles first. Well, I'm trying. I'm not trying to make a mess here for video. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Like the gold gold balls. Are the noodles good at least? The garbal's good too. Every time I feel something soft, I want to go to bed. It's really good with the noodles. I mean, I think it's even better with the noodles. Yeah, I like it. Houston's just looking at it. That's the problem. He's eating like a kid. A sleepy kid. Sleepy kid. Here, try this now that you have noodles. Mm -mm. I don't oh. like the garbals. Okay. I'll eat it. <laughs> Cut it off. Hot. Going down on the noodles. 
I'm gonna try some non hot ones. Blue food. Mm. That I don't know is that. good. You will never throw a gar back after trying those. I promise you that. No, I agree. In all fairness for Houston, it is 11.54 p.m. when we're cooking this fish. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that late. It's late. It is almost midnight. All right, Maddie. Try this. I want to know your honest opinion. She's, she keeps on looking up like something's above her head. <laughs> what is it? Yes. I mm. Tastes like meatballs, but like more sour. It's sweet. Meatballs. Is it good? Mm. Uh. Would you eat it with ramen noodles? Can I tell her what it is? Nope, not yet. Uh, Eli it? came. It would All right, Eli. It would, it would what is that? Try it. Tell me what you think. Don't tell anyone. Mom, don't tell them. I don't know how to describe the taste. It just like melts in your mouth. It reminds of it. Do you like it? Come. Yeah, it's like mid. mid if it was with ramen noodles, mm. would you eat it? Um, for me, I would just have the ramen noodles by itself. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. That's gar, guys. Gar. Uh, spotted, gar spotted sort of gar. It's like meatball, but gar ball. I still like saltwater fish better. Garlic. All right, so as you guys have seen, we've done a lot in the last couple of videos between uh, iguanas and bow fishing, and Houston finally got to cut into his coconuts. I didn't think we were ever going to hear the end of that. Stone crab didn't quite turn out like we uh, had hoped. It was still fun. I mean, we got it's work. It's work. And uh, Houston, that's probably why he's dragging tail from all the stone crab traps this morning, huh? You don't stay up till midnight very often I do. on a busy day like this. I you, do. you may lay in your bed and watch a little TV, but so we've so we've been here multiple times in South Florida. We're in Miami with Donovan, and Donovan is uh, a charter service. It's uh, arrow assault bow fishing, and that was kind of how we got to know Donovan and his family. We booked a charter out of the blue. Just yep. actually, a friend of yours recommended. Yep. Hey, you need to call Donovan. We did. Struck up a friendship. Talk to me into starting a YouTube channel. So if you want to do some of this stuff, the, whether it's iguana hunting or bow fishing or whatever in Miami, give us a call, 786-708-4973, or they can book directly online at arrowassaultbowfishing.com. It's also on uh, uh, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. Yep. But he also has a YouTube channel that we kind of helped talk him into starting for their family, and that's yes. called Team Tate Outdoors. Thank you for giving me all that work. <laughs> it's, it's it's fun it's fun it's so much fun it's not work what are you talking about it's great but it's, anyways yeah, go team, check them out team tate outdoors yep. guys we do it i mean you're liable to see anything on our channel nothing specific uh from fishing to hunting to farm life to pretty sure he did a catch clean and cook video with a chicken out of his yard we did <laughs> yeah. See, and you may kids, be catching lobster or catching a chicken in his yard. And Who the knows? kids clean them. <laughs> the kids get involved in everything that we do, and that's why it's Team Tate. Yeah. So go check them out, Team Tate Outdoors on YouTube. So, anyways, guys, that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. I think we're gonna let Houston go to bed now. You think you can say anything at all? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>